Hi and welcome to our first video in the microbiology series. If you have joined us from previous videos, whether they are the anatomy and physiology videos or the computer videos, welcome back. And if you're just joining us, welcome. While you're here, be sure to check out the channel. We have a lot of videos in different topics. So the topic of this video is what are microbes? Now before I begin any presentation, before I begin any video, I always like to grab reference materials and make sure that the material is the same that I remember it when I took the courses as well as when I taught the courses. So I've had graduate level microbiology courses, I've had graduate level pathogenic microbiology courses, I've even taught a few micro courses, but you know it's been a while and so I grab the books and I make sure that I'm still up to date on my information and I want to make sure that what I was taught is still the correct stuff, you know, things kind of get out of date. And when I was looking up microbes and microorganisms, there was a general consensus that there really is no good standard definition. Basically, microbes are things that are too small to see with the unaided eye, even though they're exceptions. And we typically call microbes microorganisms. Microorganisms, of course, breaking down into living things, living critters, that are too small to see with the unaided eye, again, even though that there are some microorganisms that you can see with the unaided eye, and there are some microorganisms that are not actually organisms, they're not really life, they're non-life, which would, of course, be viruses. So even with these exceptions, we still basically say microbes and microorganisms to be the same thing. So microorganisms, microbes, are typically too small to be seen with the unaided eye. And there are lots, and I mean lots, of different types of microbes. Millions of different types of microbes. And what's wild is many of these, we still don't know what they are. Um, in fact, microbes can live in almost any climate you can possibly think of, even places that we thought life couldn't exist. In, in boiling water, the, the seabeds, I mean, stuff exists where we would think life, there, there'd be no possible way life could be there. And again, we only know a portion of the actual microbes that are out there. Of all the microbes, they typically get a bad rap. They typically get a bad reputation. For example, I'm recording, I'm down here in Houston, Texas area. And we had the Ebola case, in fact, the very first person to catch Ebola in the United States, about five hours from here, up in Dallas. And Ebola is a virus, which is a microbe, a microorganism, and of course, you know, it gets all the bad press. It's always the bad ones, isn't it? If you ever think about it, it's always the example of the bad things that make the news, you know. for uh, we, have t we had another teacher get caught doing something he shouldn't have been doing. But yet there are thousands of teachers doing great jobs every day all across this nation, but they don't make the news. It's the bad one. And that's what microbes are. You got all these good microbes doing their thing, and there's that bad one out there who messes it up for everybody else. And all the good microbes are hanging around going, this is why we can't have nice things. So there is a small portion of microbes that actually cause disease, but most of the microbes that are out there either don't do anything for us, or they are vital to life. But again, um, it's always the bad ones that get the, uh, get, the, you know, get the attention. Microbes have been around since life started on this planet. I think I should say that more in a more grandiose voice. Microbes have been around since life was on this planet. They have been around since the beginning of life. They are the dominant life form on earth not cockroaches but microbes are the most dominant form of life on the earth in fact they account for more than 60 percent of the biomass what's biomass you ask biomass is defined as the amount of living material in a given habitat expressed either as the weight of organisms per unit area or as the volume of organisms per unit volume of habitat basically a biomass is the total weight of all living things. And 60% of the biomass on Earth are made of microbes. So these buggers are everywhere. So what are the types of microbes, you might ask? And we're going to go into each of these in more detail. In fact, I have planned a primer 
video on each of the following bacteria fungi hey it's a fun guy i challenge anybody to find a biology teacher or a microbiology teacher who doesn't do that same thing when they say fungi if you have a teacher who doesn't do hey fun guy then you have a boring teacher sorry moving on protozoas algae and viruses these are all the different type of microbes that are out there and we will take a look at each of these in more detail so why why do we care why do we care about microbes who cares about well you should care you yes you should care about microbes and not just because you have to have a class in it in order to go into the medical profession or become a bio major or what have you you should care about microbes because we should have microbe awareness month <laughs> because they form the basis of many food chains when you look at the circle of life these things are the bottom guys these one these little guys right here are typically the basis for many food chains out there without them many food chains would not exist therefore things wouldn't be able to eat which would be bad uh, they break down wastes they are the masters of recycling they break down waste matter so we need these otherwise we'd be over our heads with waste they recycle gas in the atmosphere they have food and commercial use they make alcoholic drinks so you know after a hard week of studying and you're over 21 and you want to go to the local bar you can thank microbes so the next time you go to the pub or the bar raise one up for the microbes <laughs> seriously if you do that if you do that take a picture send it to my facebook account i want to see it okay um i might feature you in a video in the future so if you raise your drink to and cheers to microbe send me a picture or a video of it uh they also help make yogurt yaget they make yaget they uh they help uh with the yogurt production they help make medicine and if you're a diabetic diabetes mellitus you can thank your life for microbes because we have genetically engineered these bad boys to make insulin uh, they help us by making vitamins in our body for example some b vitamins and vitamin k it also helps to keep harmful microbes away so we have microbes in our body in fact i'll talk about that in just a second the good ones keep the bad ones either off the body or they keep at bay because of resources and there's not enough to go around for everybody and so things can't flourish uh, when they're not supposed to so here's some final thoughts for you nine out of ten cells on you on you right now i don't care if you've taken a shower today or not nine out of ten cells on your body right now are microbes and not you so nine out of ten cells are not actually you right now sitting in front of the computer or listening on your phone or your tablet nine out of ten that's pretty wild huh? according to the american society for microbiology this sounds important the asm the american society for microbiology the number of bacteria living within the body of the average healthy adult human are estimated to outnumber human cells 10 to 1. So again, most of your cells in your body are not actually your cells. They are microbes. So that is going to conclude our topic about microbes. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our very first presentation in the world of microbiology. Please be sure to subscribe. Check us out on social media, YouTube, Mr. Ford's Class, Twitter, Mr. Ford's Class. Come join the conversation and post your video or image of you toasting microbes at the local pub at Mr. Ford's Class Learning. And please be sure to LST, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Until our next video, Goodbye for now.